देखिए जो भी जो भी रिकॉर्डिंग थी वो सब जो है जो हमें जो जितनी रिपोर्ट मिली है कि सी एफ एस एल ने उनको सबको ऑथेंटिकेट कर दिया है और मैं समझता हूँ कि जल्दी ही हो सकता है कि वो सारी की सारी पब्लिक डोमेन में आ जाए तो आप जरूर उनको सब आप सबको अवेलेबल होंगे आप सब उसको आराम से देख सकते हैं उनका मत हटाओ ध्यान आपकी मर्जी है अगेन आई नो आई वुड लाइक टू रिपीट आई हैव लॉर ऑफ रिस्पेक्ट फॉर द मीडिया Uh, but the thing is this matter is under investigation by delhi police and you know it's not proper for me to talk about it also this matter is subjudice it is in courts so i think it's best that we leave it at that and i'm sure our we have made an effort that the truth must come out media is a very noble profession and media has to be above suspicion so it's a very responsible it is a very powerful channel I have all the respect for media. So, since this matter is under investigation by Delhi Police, and uh, so let's let them do the job. And also, the matter is in courts, so I would not like to comment anything further. Thank you. Congress MP and industrialist Naveen Jindal are reacting to comments of charges. The counter charges coming across from the Z Group, trying to say that, well, the evidence, the recordings have been. documented and uh, analyzed by the cfs of forensic sciences laboratory as well and also uh, declining to further comment given that the matter was sub judiciary senior editor javed ansari now joins us javed comments coming across from navin jindal as well essentially you know evading any kind of uh, response on these counter charges but these are serious counter charges coming across from the z group as well yes there are and the only way of getting to the bottom of this is if there is a transparent and thorough inquiry so that both charges and counter charges and this protestations of innocence from both sides can be thoroughly examined and a conclusion arrived at till that happens we can't we are not in a position to say anything as far as the guilt or otherwise is concerned well javed just turn for a moment kunal shankar now also joins us with an input on this story kunal just just build on these you know these new comments coming across from the z group the counter charges as it were saying that you know navin jindal it was him who would try to sort of offer the bribes try to influence the z group as well well aditya uh, that they have maintained all along that in fact it was navin jindal his entire family and in fact his entire group that right from the beginning from the time when z news started airing the uh, the uh, their alleged involvement in coal uh, scam that they have been putting pressure not just through uh the company and his family but political pressure in fact in their press conference today alok agarwal the ceo very pointedly and significantly named three people uh all pol politicians senior politicians one is the congress general secretary digvijay singh yes. the other is arjun munda that is jharkhand chief minister and raman singh chatisgarh chief minister as actually being a uh, political emissaries or interlocutors if you will of navin jindal who've been calling and speaking z publishers and owners and asking them not to telecast uh, critical remarks or critical content against uh, the group per se uh, in fact in another interesting aspect that they've chosen to highlight in this press conference as there is the fact that the families of the z publishers and the navin jindal family have been uh, have been associates of four generations hmm. they have tried to show that jawahar goel one of the shareholders of the company was in fact asked to come to uh, savitri jindal's residence that is navin jindal's residence here in delhi at 6 prithviraj road hmm. on an evening where the entire family met him and asked him not to telecast and they have claimed that this is a sort of an emotional blackmail that they used okay. uh, but they, one of the things uh, interestingly they were unable to answer just why on a sort of an emotional note the entire network chose not to air any more content for the next week or so that was something that they were not able to answer also po pointed questions as why if there was a counter uh, sort of uh, expose that they were choosing to do what took them so long to put it together yes. and if indeed that was the case where are their tapes those were questions that they were unable to answer their demand was that when both samir arualia and sudhir chaudhary have co have actually cooperated in this entire investigation why has delhi police now chosen to arrest them despite them agreeing that these meetings have taken place and despite their cooperation in the investigation and navin is also making that point about you know cfsl sort of authenticating that these recordings these tapes as well trying to put it out in the public domain 
uh, you know, in many ways, re you know, refraining from making an outward comment about uh, these, these counter allegations as well. But how does this go for from this point on? Certainly, the case of judiciary and the Delhi police is also investigating. Well, from this point on, uh, as for Z, they would probably press this demand constantly, saying that this is muzzling the media and try and ratchet up support within the media. Uh, frankly, uh, just how much support they have in the media would be uh, interesting to see. If you go by the questions asked over here, uh, the press is indeed interrogating the group itself while the group wants the media fraternity to be behind them uh, as for the cooperation the group will not have any other choice but to cooperate because there's an fir launch uh, already lodged and investigation ongoing mm. they can choose to actually uh, take it court uh, alleging a fundamental right violation saying that there are no uh, particular pressing reasons for the police to act okay. uh, and take, uh, you know, arrest these two journalists. That can be a route that they may take. Uh, the the uh, lawyer, Handu, who was present here, didn't exactly extrapolate as to what they would do further, yes. but did, uh, uh, did back the claim that as he's expected to, that these two journalists were innocent and whatever they were doing were in good faith to expose the group. And so counter charges, charges flying across so the Jindal group and of course the Z group now as well. Let's see where this case uh, moves forward from this point on. Kunal Shankar, thanks very much for joining us.